In this lesson, we will continue on with exponents by learning about negative exponents and fractional exponents. Let's begin with negative exponents. In this power, 3 is the base and minus 5 is the exponent. The exponent becomes positive if we bring the power to the denominator. Now we have a power with a base of minus 12 and an exponent of minus 4. The exponent becomes positive if we bring the power to the denominator. This fraction has a power with a negative exponent in the denominator. If we bring the power to the numerator, we can make the exponent positive. Now we have a fraction raised to a negative exponent. If we flip the fraction, we can change the sign of the exponent. Now we'll establish a general rule for negative exponents. a raised to the power of minus m equals 1 over a to the power of m. We should also indicate that a cannot equal 0, since dividing by 0 is undefined. Now we'll learn about fractional exponents. In this power, 6 is the base and 1 half is the exponent. Since the exponent is a fraction, we will be able to convert this power to a radical. The numerator of the exponent goes to the radicand, while the denominator of the exponent becomes the index of the radical. This is the square root of 6. Now we have a power with a base of minus 5 and a fractional exponent of 1 over 3. The numerator of the exponent goes to the radicand, and the denominator of the exponent becomes the index of the radical. This is the cube root of minus 5. Now we have the power 3 raised to the 4 over 5. The numerator of the exponent goes to the radicand, and the denominator of the exponent becomes the index of the radical. This is the fifth root of 3 raised to the power of 4. Now we are given the square root of 7 raised to the power of 5. The exponent of the radicand becomes the numerator of the exponent. The index of the radical becomes the denominator of the exponent. Now we'll establish a general rule for fractional exponents. The denominator of the exponent becomes the index of the radical. The numerator of the exponent goes to the radicand, or to the entire radical. When the index of the radical m is an even number, like 2, 4, or 6, the radicand must be greater than or equal to 0. When the index of the radical is an odd number, like 3, 5, or 7, the radicand can be any real number.